Hello guys, welcome back to the Technical Effects YouTube channel. Now, this video, tutorial video, about market structure again, you guys know, leave a comment, who's the king of market structure, let me know. Um, the other day, I put out a post on Instagram relating to market structure is the same on all time frames. You can see it right here, okay? Market structure is the same on all time frames. We see the same flow. We see the same thing happen on all time frames. You don't have to trade all time frames, okay? I advise you work your way from the higher time frames down to your entry. Personally, me, I don't go no lower than the one hour time frame, okay? And that's what I teach. I teach everything from the monthly into the one hour time frame. We do have students that have utilized my content um, to go lower because at the end of the day, structure is structure no matter what the time frame. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video, that no matter what time frame, you will see the same things happening, okay? Um, so guys, let's get into this video. Do remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Don't forget to let me know who is the king of market structure. Okay, so um, I've just literally selected a load of random pairs um, and random time frames that we're just gonna go through and pretty much just take a look at the, the flow that we see and that we see the same thing happen, okay? So here, we are on the weekly time frame. So here on the weekly time frame, what do we see happen, okay? Well, here we see higher low point. We see price impulsively violate, pull back, impulse. We then see this bit of a corrective move before we impulse before we take a correction, impulse, small correction, and then we impulse, then we take a correction, and then we correctively move to the downside before price impulsively breaks through structures, comes back to form a higher low point, we then see an impulse, we then see the correction, small impulse taken out this high, we then see correction before we impulse where we are now. This flow happens on every single time frame. The moves are gonna be smaller, but the flow happens on all time frames. Let me show you. This is the weekly. Now, let's pop into the daily time frame. Okay, so this here is the daily time frame, random market, AUD, USD, um, where we're gonna pretty much see the market does the exact same thing. Okay, so here we're on the daily time frame. What do we see happen? Well, this here, Previously, this move down here was the coronavirus madness that we saw this huge sell-off, okay? Following on from that sell-off, we see price impulse, we see a small correction, where we then see an impulse, where we then see a correction, and then the market starts to flow with its flow. This here is pretty much just one big correction. Then we see price impulsively move off again. We then see price correctively pull back again. We then see price take this ascending move, which does then form an ascending corrective. We then see price take out the liquidity here, which is something different, not market structure. We then see price push down. It technically is market structure, but something different. We see an impulse to the downside. We see correction. We see the impulse. We see the correction. Price comes down again creates the liquidity before getting taken out. We then see price, this here then forms one large corrective move. We then see price break through structures here with an impulse before we then do continue up. We then see the correction before the impulse where we are now currently at. This is just the flow of the market. That is all that this is. We saw the same flow happen right here. We saw the same flow happen right here. We're now on the one hour time frame where we're gonna see the same flow happen. We see price down here, okay, this is just randomly selected. We see price here, take this impulsive move, breaking through structures. Previously before that, we did have a correction, okay? After that break of structure, we then see the corrective move. We then see the impulsive move. We then get the corrective move. Price then breaks out of this structure, forming a high. We get a small test before we get the continuational move. We then see double top. We then see corrective move. We then push to the upside. Price fails to break through here. What do we see? We see a small corrective move. No real intent of downside movement. What do we see? 
impulse that breaks through this structure point. We then see price test this structure point before the impulse. Now this downside move here was pretty impulsively. Now then look what happens. We then see this move, we move corrective before price drops once again. The way price is flowing is giving you such a heads up on where price could potentially go to next. Look at that corrective move right there. Look at the drop off. What do we then see? Corrective move, impulsive move. What is this formed? This has formed a larger correction. What do we then see? We then see price impulsive breaking above these structures here. We then correct. We then push up and we're now where we are now where we're just breaking these lows, but we've not broken this confirmed higher low yet, signaling that this market could be taking that downside run. It's currently what I'm watching at the moment in this market. Um, but again, this is the same flow. We've gone from the weekly to the daily to the one hour time frame, and the flow has been the same. We see the same things happening on all time frames, okay? You just have to really dive deep and learn the structure flow. This here is a clean uptrend. In this clean uptrend, all we form is impulses, corrections, higher highs, higher lows. They come on all different sizes. Okay, so it's really just understanding the structure flow of the market. Now we're going to go into the 15 minute time frame. Okay, not a time frame I use. I never use this time frame, but we're going to see that the market does the exact same thing. The market does the exact same thing. So right down here, what do we see happening? We see, if I move that out of the way, you may see it, but we're seeing lower highs form, lower highs. How are these forming? We're seeing the impulse, we're seeing the correction, we're seeing the impulse, we're seeing the correction repeating over and over. Here we get another lower high, here we get another lower high, here we get another smaller lower high, then here we get a low. What do we then see happen? Price impulsively pushes to the upside, breaking through some structures. In this whole downside move right here, we did not see any impulsive moves breaking any structures until we saw this one right here. After seeing this one right here, we then do see this bit of a larger correction to the downside. We then impulsively push, breaking through structures. What do we see happen after that? We then see another correction to the downside. What do we see happen after that? Another impulsive move, breaking structures to the upside. So we've now gone from the weekly to the daily to the one hour to the 15 minute and I've shown you the exact same thing playing out. But if you're gonna trade the 15 minute, you need to be aware of the weekly structures, the weekly movement, daily movement, one hour movement. You've got to break it down so you understand what is happening on the higher time frames to understand and combine it with your lower time frame structures. Okay, uh, we're now going to go go into literally one last one last time frame. This is the five minute time frame. Okay, we could go into the one minute. We if I had like time frames, we could go again a lot lower. Okay, um, but we don't need to because I'm pretty sure that this is pretty much going to uh, show you exactly what I'm what I mean. So. We can even go back down here actually and take a look at the structure flows, okay? So going back over here, what do we see happening? Well, we're seeing price form lower lows, lower highs, lower highs. Then here, we start to move downside correctively. What happens after that downside corrective move? Well, we push to the upside. Wasn't overly impulsive. You're not always gonna get everything picture perfect. We then see price here break through structures. That's the important part. We get the retracement. We get another impulse breaking structures. We get a corrective move to the downside right here. What do we then see? We see impulse breaking structures. Now here, it was an impulsive move and you will probably get more of those on the five minute time frames, where price doesn't always flow with the impulse and correctiveness. We then see price push to the upside where overall price here starts to flow correctively to the upside. That's highlighting to me that there's possibility of a drop. We then see price take a drop to the downside. What do we then see? We see price impulsively break through these structures to the upside. Remembering that this corrective ascending move isn't changing the trend. This is just giving you a heads up on the next potential move. We then see price take this downside move. We then see impulse which breaks through structures right here. 
Okay, following on from that, what do we see happen? We see price correctively move. Notice how no higher lows in these moves start to get broken. They do not get broken, signaling the change in direction. Okay, that doesn't happen. And then following on from this one right here, this corrective move right here, we then see another impulsive move. So we have now covered the market movement that I say is the same on every time frame from the weekly to the daily to the one hour to the 15 minute to the five minute. I've shown you five time frames which all show the exact same flow and the exact same movement. You can't tell me that structure is not the same on all time frames. You just need to find time frame, the, the entry time frame that really works for you and works for your routine. For me, one hour time frame, four hour for entries, they're both really good for me, okay? But if you wanna go lower, then you can go lower. It's up to you as a trader, what type of trader you wanna be, whether you wanna be swing trader, day trader, scalper, whatever it wants to be, that's what you need to decide within yourself. And let me know whether you want me to do a video about how to pick what type of trader you may wanna be. Because of, by all means, if you guys let me know in the comments that you would like a video like that, then I would be sure to, um, to bring a video like that for you, okay? Um, so guys, this video has pr pretty much, hopefully, shown you that what the market structure is doing on the on weekly, daily, one hour, four hour, whatever it is, the market is always flowing in the same sort of way. So guys, I really do hope that this video has helped you. Do give me a like, subscribe, comment, all of that YouTube stuff. But that's enough from me. Hope this video helped. I'll catch you soon.